Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how to move objects in AutoCAD to a specific coordinate. I've touched on moving objects and some tips in the past, but a specific question came up of how do I move an object to a specific coordinate location within a drawing, and I'm gonna show you that along with a few tips and tricks when it comes to moving around objects in AutoCAD and using dynamic input. Let's jump right into today's video and get started. All right, so as I mentioned, today we're looking at how to move objects in AutoCAD, and in particular, how to move them to a specific coordinate. So to start, I've got the coordinates displayed down here at the bottom, and I've also got dynamic input turned on. You can hit these three lines in the bottom right, the customization menu, to make sure you've got those options on in your drawing. Coordinates can be checked on and off at the top here, and dynamic input can be checked on and off here. And then once they're on, you can simply turn dynamic input on or off by clicking it, or use the command DYN mode and set it to one for on or zero for off. Now you're gonna see why that matters here in a second. So if you've got dynamic input turned on, moving an object, so we're gonna type in M for move, and select our object. We're gonna move this window block here and hitting enter is gonna allow us to select a base point. This is the point that is going to get moved in particular to either a specific distance away or a specific coordinate. By default, with dynamic input on, this is going to default to a displacement. So if I click this bottom left point here, I can type in a coordinate, so I can type in say 10 and then I'll put a feet symbol there just to be sure since this is architectural. Uh, and then hitting comma and 10 feet again is going to move this 10 feet to the right and 10 feet up since both are positive values and in the X coordinate that's a positive so that's to the right and in the Y is 10 up. So hitting enter, you're gonna zoom out here and you can see that it has moved 10 feet to the right and 10 feet up. Now, what if we wanted that to go to the 10 and 10 coordinates? So you can see where my mouse is here, looking at those coordinates down below. This is approximately where 10, 10 is. So if I wanted it to go right there, you're going to need to add something if dynamic input is on. So we're gonna select our object, type M, we're gonna choose that point again, and instead of just typing in our displacement numbers, you're going to add the hashtag symbol. Now, you can do that by holding shift and hitting three, and you can see, now we'll do that again. So we're gonna type M for move, click our object, hit enter, select our base point, which is this bottom left, and we're gonna hold shift and hit three to add the hash, uh, hashtag symbol or pound sign. And we're gonna type in 10 with the feet symbol and then comma for the Y and 10 and the feet symbol. So that is the coordinates. The X is the first coordinate. So that is the 10 foot coordinate and 10 foot as the Y. And we're gonna hit enter and you can see it's moved it right there. Now we're gonna do that one more time and I'm gonna show it to you with dynamic input off. Now, if you have dynamic input off, which means that the text and uh, coordinates aren't popping up right where the cursor is, they're coming up only on the command line, then it's the opposite. By default, the move command is going to place your object in a specific coordinate if you type it in. So we're gonna type in, it's gonna ask where the second point is. I want it to go to the one and one, which is down around here. So I'm gonna type in one comma one, and you're gonna see that it's moved to the one comma one coordinate. Now, if I want to, leave dynamic input off and use and use displacement, you can use the at symbol to get that to work. So we're gonna type move, select our object, choose that bottom left, and instead of the pound sign or hashtag, we're gonna use shift two, and then we're going to say 10 feet comma 10 feet. So this is going to move it 10 feet to the right and 10 feet up back up to this area over here. 
Now you can see this is pretty simple, but it's not always straightforward. So again, if you have that dynamic input on, all you need to do is use the pound or hashtag symbol before you type in your coordinates, and now it's going to move your object to an exact coordinate with AutoCAD. Now, if you've watched my other videos on moving objects, you know there's quite a few different options. One is you can select all of your objects, type M for move, and then simply choose a base point and drag them around if you don't care where they are specifically. Specifically, you can also do this and hit M and snap to objects. That's an easy way to move objects around as well. The other option would be to select an object and you can simply click and hold anywhere near the blue highlighted line work and drag it around and move it. This is less accurate since you're not really snapping or using coordinates, but it's an easy way to grab a bunch of objects and move them somewhere else, get them out of your way. Most of the time in AutoCAD, you're going to want to be accurate and use actual dimensions or displacement distances, but sometimes you don't care. You just want to move stuff out of your screen and out of your workspace. So that's how you can move objects in AutoCAD to a specific coordinate using either dynamic import or with it turned off. If you guys like this tip and you want to learn more about AutoCAD or you just want to boost your productivity in general when using the software, make sure you check out my AutoCAD fundamentals and workflows course. You can get it now using the link up above or down below in the description for a discounted rate for viewers and subscribers such as yourself. I highly recommend it. I've packed over 15 years of experience, tips, tricks, workflows, and fundamentals in AutoCAD into these videos, and everybody seems to like it. It's got a five-star rating on the store. Make sure you check those out and let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit that button down below to get all the new videos, and thanks for watching. Have a good one. Cheers.